It is the morning of New Year's Eve. I have finally finished inking this page of Quarterly Stories, which I'm pretty stoked about. Um, I managed to just finish inking this panel, and I think the page came out really good. This is the vlog where I talk about Quarterly Stories, which is my graphic novel that I hand write, hand letter, and hand ink, and then hand to you, hopefully someday in print. But until that day, it's available serialized online at quarterlystories.com. It's a very personal story to me about faith and mental illness, and this is the vlog where I document the process and the progress of creating this graphic novel on top of being a full-time art director, a full-time husband, and a full-time father. And uh, I'm feeling pretty energized. I'm also really pumped because there is a new Chris Ware book out. And so I have been reading this. It's a, actually like a little autobiography of uh, his life and stuff. And it's also just like a really beautiful book. Um, I don't know how familiar you guys are with Chris Ware, but I can just say this is... Um, he, he's my favorite cartoonist, easily alive. I think he's one of the smartest cartoonists alive. And this book, Monograph, if you can get your hands on it, is uh, just incredible. For those of you who are familiar with Chris Ware, you'll know his books are really heavy. If you haven't checked out Chris Ware yet, the best place to start is probably Jimmy Corgan, The Smartest Kid on Earth. It's probably one of the best graphic novels ever made. And also check out Building Stories. Acme Novelty Library is really great. Another good starting point would if you are more into just like silly cartooning and not silly like an execution but just sort of like gag panels although they have a little bit of sadness to them as well I would check out um, Quimby the Mouse. It's uh, nice and it's given me a nice little extra boost of inspiration to read about an artist I really admire and respect um, and some of the things that they made early in their career and just sort of like some of the thinking behind his comics it's it's super inspirational so anyhow um i will show you guys a clip of me inking quite a few of these panels um that i didn't have in my last video and then i'm gonna hopefully my plan for the day it's early in the day but my plan is to do my workout and then hopefully erase and clean up this page which sometimes means touching up the blacks I used a little bit of, um, of white around the edge of this, and so sometimes when you erase, uh, you might have to kind of re-spot that a little bit, um, just because, you know, that's the downside of penciling underneath your work, and that's why a lot of people like to do blue lines. You know, it shouldn't take that long to do, but I definitely want to wait and be patient and let the ink dry, um, and then I'm gonna hit this page, hopefully erase it, scan it, uh, clean it up, and post it to quarterlystories.com. So that's pretty much my day so far. Feeling pretty good. Um, really stoked to be back from vacation, and uh, I'm just, you know, really excited to be kind of reading a really good uh, book by an artist I really admire. All right, I will uh, touch base with you guys again a little bit later after I do my workout.
and I'm heading home and uh, there is no Rock and Roll Tuesday tonight, but hopefully you guys have enjoyed watching those panels getting inked. Uh, yesterday I did clean up on the page and I've already kind of filmed the process of cleaning up inks and discussed like how to kind of basically make your blacks like a solid black and your whites a solid white and make sure that your art is going to print as like a really nice crisp black and white. Um, I've already gotten into that in a previous vlog, um, one of the earlier episodes, so I'm not really wanting to tread over that water again, so I didn't really end up filming anything. But tonight my goal is to do some thumbnails for the next page, and then hopefully also get in my workout. And uh, I also managed, um, I've been kind of carving away at this every now and then, but it dawned on me that I haven't updated my business cards um, for my own freelance in quite a while. So what I've done is I've managed to do some new branding for myself, uh, just for my business cards, and that might end up carrying over to my YouTube channel and whatnot, although I'm pretty fond of the banner I already have. Um, and then that's basically, you know, I'll, sh I'll show you a little bit of that right now. Yeah, so that's basically uh, this kind of interesting, like, early 1900s lettering that um, that I've gotten really fascinated with, which is, is a style that I really like to um, use for lettering. So yeah, so that's pretty much that. Uh, it has kind of a bit of a gag on it that says, um, shameless self-promotion which was actually on my first business card and I've always kind of wanted to keep that on uh, all my cards so yeah so there's that and then basically um, just gonna kind of go home and hopefully work on comics hopefully get some stuff done I'm also starting to read monograph by Chris Ware which I might have mentioned um, but it, it's super inspiring and very cool. I'm getting a few pages at a time done of that and uh, that's kind of giving me some extra juice and motivation to kind of hopefully trudge ahead and get this book uh, hopefully finished. Okay, so I went ahead and roughed out the next page of quarterly stories and then proceeded to uh, do the borders and the uh, panel borders, panel layout, and the lettering and hand inking the lettering for the next page. So all is looking pretty good uh, for the first comicking of the new year. Happy New Year to everybody out there. And uh, thanks to those of you who subscribed, commented, liked, and shared my YouTube videos. It really means a lot. Um, Thanks a lot. This will be a bit shorter of a video this time, and uh, I hope you guys have a good 2018. My goal for this year, um, I'm not going to get into a long thing about resolutions. We kind of covered a lot of that on Artcasters this last week, but um, I will just say my goal this year is to hopefully uh, get even more art done and be even more effective and more badass about the stuff I get done and uh, hopefully relentless about it. So anyhow, I will see you guys uh, next week.